I'm a cop. I'm a cop as well. Let's get in this car. And we're not so cop. <laughs> that was my tip at the, at the game. And grubs. we're the game grumps. <laughs> Hey, I'm a cop. <laughs> I am a cop. And we're the cops. <laughs> uh, police station? Or, no, yeah, we gotta go interrogate some fools. Or do we want to go to Delgado's now? No, no, we're going to the police station. We gotta but go do, talk to the Valdez. But do we want to talk to Delgado first? I think we should go to the police station all right, first. Alright, yeah, alright. Welcome back to Super Detective Bros. Super Brothers Detective Service. I thought, I thought he was gonna drive, but you said not to. I don't know what happened here. That's fine. I believe in you. You drive. I'm so scared of driving. God, if LA only looked this good and this clean all the goddamn time. It hasn't looked this good in 60 years. Literally since this game. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. They're talking about 3D movies. Like Metal Gear Solid. God's name would want that. I don't know. People what? The idea of talking on color. They're talking about 3D movies. Like Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, you know how in Metal Gear Solid they always like talk about bullshit for no reason in between? Have you never played Metal Gear Solid? I have. Oh, you completed it. First one. Yeah. You know, I know we're supposed to like do these like side missions and stuff, but I feel like we can just do them whenever we want. Yeah. That's how I feel. That's for the completionist. That's for me. Yeah, that's, that's for, for you to me. do later. I am him, the completionist. I'm here for the big budget, the AAA crime game. Life. Life. That's it. Life, that's the crime game. Life, the AAA crime game. Keep LA safe for life. Wah. You're a cop. Well, I have to remind you. You're right. I am a cop. It just doesn't look like a cop car. What? Is this not the police station? It is. You're just not close enough. Oh, my God. I don't like that. It's like not like GTA where you can just go into a sp area where it's like park here. We have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview too. And get this. <laughs> All this 40 slang. And doing his best not to touch nothing. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Is he a pedophile though? But is he a pedo? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. Right. Like a smooth criminal. Dun, 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 dun. Mr. Valdez, Council General. I insist on my full title. This guy is the worst. <laughs> dot biz. Uh, yep. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver are arranging purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey brother by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Okay. So, he's he not looks, lying, but he's not telling the truth either. Now look at how shady he's being. He's I like, think, what? I, he's not looking us in the eye. I, I think there's truth in what he said, but I think there's more. I think he's full of doubt. What do you think? I think I'm going to I mean, doubt. I mean, I keep saying doubt as in like... He's full of doubt. He's full of doubt, but we I feel like him. we are full of doubt. Yeah, we, we I'm full of doubt. Him. We are the detectives. We are full of doubt as We're detectives. We're talking about Cole Phelps. He's full of doubt. Yes, we are the, we are the doubt bros. We're going to doubt him. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Drive by fruiting. <laughs> I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial drive to make a purchase of his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayer. All right. Okay. Theft of consular vehicle. How are you feeling? You look pretty pleased. Look at that face. He looks fairly pleased. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Alright. Can you tell us how it was we have located your car. It must have been stolen from the council garage. He looks like he's not sure. Convenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. <laughs> he seems I feel like I am full of doubt yet again. You feel like you're full of doubt. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, he's oh, there he is. Oh, oh, Alright. <laughs> Who stole the car? Don't you, Consul General? Or do I shake it out of you? 
Oh. There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You're the main deal's kid? Gabriel, like the archangel. I have no surname. Yo. Remember when we looked at the book? Yes. And Jelly Light Features? Yes. This man and him, they were a thing. You think that Gabriel and this man had they hooked up. coitus interruptus? Yeah. And then they're bitter that it's over. Let's fucking interrogate him. All right. Tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in uh, with him? Mechanic. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me. Or maybe I don't know anything. <laughs> what? We're kind of racist, sir. Uh, uh. He's being a little shady. A little evasive. Fuck. Or do you think he's like in it? Do you think he's being... A s it kind of looks like he's being earnest. Uh, you know what? No. No, 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 no. We know that this guy's full of shit. Yeah. Why? Because his name was in the goddamn book, and he remembered that he had fucking angelic features. This guy's a fucking liar. Let me Call look, his ass out. Let me look at the notebook. Can I, can I press X on it? No. Uh, Trust me. He's a fucking liar. I don't... He's a liar. And then we use the evidence as in the notebook. All right, all right. You fuck young boys, all this. Whoa! Pedo! Pedo! Whoa! Show him that book. Show him that book. Open that door. Show him that book. I nailed this dude. This dude is a Fucking pedophile. Fucking Alex Fasciani. <laughs> Super cop bros. I'm sure we oh, shit. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful but impertinent boy. You are on the I fucking ball with it, Alex. This creepy dude. Was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. Ugh. We'll be in touch, Council General. Three for three. Three for three. Sex Weed. Crimes <laughs> Unit. Super Beard Brothers. <laughs> Special Victims Unit. Yo, put us on the case to catching the. Bed intruder, because we're finally catching him after all these years. <laughs> we're coming after you, bed intruder. <laughs> Song or no? <laughs> all right. You're fucked. <laughs> let's go back now. Let's go to Delgado's residence. All right. God, I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. That guy's full of, full of it. All right. <laughs> Can I just say, Alex? Yeah. Between this and banjo. I'm having way too much <laughs> fucking fun. Yeah. I'm too invested. It's great. And I'm not even playing. I'm just it's, sitting here. It's great. All right, where are we going? We're going to Valdez. Or not Valdez. Delgado's. Delgado's residence. Let's go. All right, buddy. You drive. You know the way. You can drive. You know the way. Damn, he just went for it. Yo. He's on Mad Men. He's a great actor. Yeah. Phelps. He's a fucking gangster. Yeah. He's 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 a great he's a great detective. Santel would love this game. Hashtag perfect dicks. We gotta, we gotta stop that. <laughs> stop that hashtag. What's a great hashtag? Perfect dicks is not a good one. Dude, the beard bros have hashtag perfect dicks. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm cracking my own ass up. Is this it? Is this is this our guy right here? Chilling in this like shady street gang situation. We are the cops. Solve that big case. Don't be so nasty to me, sir. What the hell is this guy doing? I can hear you, asshole. Oh my god, we just walked into a person's house? Oh no, it's the lobby to an apartment. Yeah. I don't know which one is his though. Oh, do did, did it say? Oh, mail. Perfect. Gabriel Delgado, number three. Here he is. Apartment three. Nailed it. I won't read his mail because it's against the law. And I am lo the law. I am a sharpshooter. I am a sharpshooter with the law. I dress well. 
Knock on that door. This guy's gonna book it, huh? Oh, oh what's up? no. Yes. Mama's pregnant. PD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Jesus. Man. All right, well, let's explore a bit. So how well, far how along are you, Anna? Wait, go back. I think I saw... Go back. Nearly 20 weeks. What? Right. right. So how's it um, when you go into labor and he's not around? The flag. You yeah. Yeah. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. All right, so we established that she is the boyfriend or the the like gr girlfriend of him. Yeah. Not the sister, not like the mom. Right. And we know that he did this crime. Yeah. Um, let me check out the Bible. Let me check out the Bible. Roasted. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> Why was she like, he's not here. Don't come in. She's in the closet. What's this? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. What? It's nothing. Oh, they're baby names. Um, let's see here. Under the bed? No. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? Probably nothing. Okay. And doesn't give just anything to go on. All right. Do you guys just talk hmm. to her? No, the the music's still here. Oh, oh. table. Boom. Cigarettes? What are we looking at? Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Oh, he was just here. Yeah. Okay. She said he wasn't here. Okay. Oh, there's a door to the outside. Do you think he's still home? It looks like a backyard area. Like, go back? Backyard, really? Open the door. Oh, yeah, we got more stuff back here. Okay. There's a shed. Okay. Who's that? The music stopped. All right, we're back in it. <laughs> All right, we're back in it. In the house. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no, 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 we're not using this is a no, no intuition point run. The tires. the tires. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. All right. Nothing. No, it's the same stuff. License plate. Oh ha ha ha. Do, 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 do. Oh ha ha ha. We get it, he stole it. Na 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 na. We're done. Let's go talk to her. Let's go talk to the wife. Let's go give her some baby name ideas. Uh, name I'm thinking baby Benjamin. Alex. Benjamin's Alex. a good name. Alex. Name it Alex and Gerard. N name the baby Alex and Gerard. Jalex. Jalex. <laughs> You're in serious trouble. I think I know a stand-up comedian by that name. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Oh, but you lied, Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, you but Miss Rodriguez. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? No. Not if he's gonna steal a car. That's truth. That's why. His honor, Anna. He said to his friend, "Try to make a woman out of him." He no longer respects this man, do we? 
he took the car to show this maricón that he is a man. Ho, 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 ho. All right, let's hear from Gabriel. Ho, 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 ho. Tell us the truth. <laughs> Has Gabriel been here? Yes. I haven't seen him for a time. You are full of shit because of the breakfast plates you are a liar. in the kitchen. You are a liar. You are a liar. 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 Your pants are on fire. So on fire. Your baby's on fire. <laughs> Put out your clothes. Your baby's on fire. I swear it. Dude, if I had a muumu like that, though, real talk, I would wear the shit out of it. Breakfast uh, plates. What? Oh, breakfast, breakfast plates. plates. The plates. It's at the bottom. Okay, I thought I skipped it. Enough. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. That's so weird that they do that, but I it's love cool. It. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. Tires I love and him. license plates. <laughs> Diplomatic plates recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You look super troubled. I'm going to say, we doubt that shit, Yeah, yo. Look, at, look at how much she's no, trying to no, say. She's no. like, yes, I do. Yes, no, I do. No, but I'm like, no, you, you. don't. Woo! Uh, woo! Woo! She's Anna, full of doubt. Baby. No, we're full of doubt. Your baby is <laughs> vision, Anna. The corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. She just launched right into it. There's a spillway under the bridge that wait, wait, wait. The river. He stole the parts for a race? Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. What? Oh, this is the fucking prequels to the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> this is the first Fast and the Furious game. That sounds like a street race to me gotten out of hand this last year rank seven let's be racers rex racer rex racer we know where the kid is let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets yeah dude this guy is too aggro for the police force no nah, he's just a little racist as everyone is in the 40s <laughs> i guess that's true I mean, we've learned. No, you're firsthand. right. When you're right, you're right. Everyone is super racist in this time. Everyone super racist in the forties. <laughs> uh, One guy just walks up and just gives you the finger. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Fuck you, police officer. Do you want to? You want him to drive? Or you want to drive? Next time I see a beer, bros. No, we should. We should do this. All right. This We're about to arrest the All man. Right, I'm going to the race. And where exactly are we going? We're gonna erase. We're gonna erase him. I'm racing this. I'm gonna erase this dude like Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're going to ridge racer his ass. I'm going to be the eraser. Whoa! Where are you? Oh God! Thank God! I'm not driving. <laughs> Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. I want that on a shirt. When I had a pregnant girlfriend, no I had, one was laughing. I had sex with. So many people. <laughs> How am I going to end up in the race? This is so, so dumb. All right. Oh, damn. Slow down, homies. It's time to get arrested, bro. Ooh. Are you kidding me? They're just Stay like on him. Stay on him. Lock on target. Lock on target. Run him off. Whoa. One down. One down. Whoa. Swing into him. Get rid of that guy. Now they just want to wrap him around a lamp. Who's that? Slam into him. End him. Oh, gotcha. God you heard damn. Him. You heard him. Take him out with the car. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Grease lighting. Go, grease lighting. Can I shoot him? No. Hit him. Dude, this car is like souped up. 
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> run it, run, run it. Were you heard the man? Run it. There's real arches. I'm just not fast enough. Swing into him. Ah! Damn it! Oh, hold it steady. Give me a break. He's getting out. Run him off the road. I da, 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 da. I'm literally floored. Yeah. Get out of the car. He's gonna run. No. Gabriel Delgado, you're under Woo. arrest for grand theft auto. Five. Fuck you, puto. You just speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. You are stupid. Now your son's not gonna have a father now. Grease <laughs> lightning. Go, oh, oh grease lightning. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, dude. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail for 15 years to life. Grease lightning to go, grease lightning. We're just getting praised as fuck right now. This guy loves us. The sharpshooter. That's what I call myself. That's what others call me too. I have a Colt 45. Look at that. Look at how good we are. We, dude, look at that. We are pros. It only cost this entire government one hundred dollars to. Uh, look at that. This is great. This is great. This is a great game. I wish we could just play this all the time. I wish this was the only game. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Dude, this just was not a good time for anyone. Your gun's dirty. Good job, Kelso. It's looking a little stocky in this. Yeah. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Wow. So Kelso dies, you think? And he feels awful about it, and that's his that's why this detective drinks. Maybe. Yeah. Can that You were right about the pedo book. Dude, I nailed that pedo. A marriage made in heaven. Is that guy gonna go to jail now? Do I gotta go back and follow up on the pedo, make sure he gets arrested? Oh! Oh my god. It's a hit and run. This is a traffic case. Yeah. Guess what? We're traffic men. We're the best traffic cops in the biz, right, goddammit. I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Okay. Next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros. We're going to we solve a hit and case. run. We take this case. Wait, before we what? Before we call Alex, can we go to like the menu and check our stuff out? Stats, go to our stats. Okay. Okay. Story Stays cases completed. completed. Street time solved. One out of forty. Landmark discovered. Zero out of thirty. Film. 
<laughs> are you starting to cough because you're realizing that there's completionist stuff in this? No, not really. Okay. I mean, I feel we... notebook interview inactivity comments. Yeah, we got one when she was like, are you going to solve the case? When I was oh, fucking I around. See. Vehicles, brawls. Okay. So uh, we, don't, we don't like level up? Like, what does the ranking do? I don't understand. I think it earns us points. For, to like be dicks? Yeah, No, to be, to get intuition. Oh, I see. But we're just already G's, so I don't know what the point is. Yeah, because we're really good detectives, that's all. Got it. Next time on Beard Bros, we, we get, be, get we, even better. Actually, even you know what? <laughs> Today? The Sword of Justice. I'm the Sword of Justice. Next time Swift. on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros, we be Swifties. Swifties. Later, man. Later, man. We are cops. Still. We are the cop brothers. I am cop one. I am a brother to the cop, also <laughs> called cop two, cop <laughs> brother. Welcome back to uh You're behind the wheel. Ooh, he's driving. He's driving. So this Looks this like is a DA new quest we just started charge. today. A new and thing Rodriguez called might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. A marriage made in heaven. No She's an easy make and the Good DA likes a marriage made in heaven. I'll convince him to let it. You may remember you last time that? a woman got hit by a car. Okay, man got, hit by, man a car. got hit by a car. So we're going to go investigate that shiz, yo. She is. As a reminder, I am not playing. I am I, fact I am man. The, I am the player. Fact man and accuser. I'm just the guy that yells, fuck you, he's lying all the time. He's the bad cop. I'm the bad cop. And Alex is like the, dude, calm down, cop. The good cop. You're not good. I'm good. I don't think you're good. I think you're like the chill out cop. Great cop. Well, I don't mean like, I'm not saying you're not good as in like. Best cop. You're I don't think you're understanding. Hashtag perfect. Is that dick? Is that what's his name? Who? Uh, uh, oh God, Harris. What's his first name? Hey, that's that dude from uh, Mad Men right there. Everyone in this game's from Mad Men. Detectives, over here. Hello. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. What? 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take What's wrong with Shannon? Place. Why is, right do now, I miss that reference? I don't know. What is Shannon Perry? All right, clue time. Clue time. Let's find some clues. Hat time. Show me something, baby. Show me something on the inside of the hat. Nah, nothing. No hat. No hat. No hat bros. No hat bros. This guy's hat's off to this guy. Well, let's go to the... The body. Helps. The body. Well, you should take a look at the body. Landed on his face and ended up here. Karma <sighs> struck him from behind. Oh. Brutal. Let's just uh, touch his nose. Give us... Touch his face a little give bit. A little touchy touch. Move his face around. Just see what the deal is with his face. Doesn't seem like there's anything going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's on his cuffs? Let's look at his cuffs. In that cuff zone. Doesn't seem like his cuffs. Check, check it like the inside of his coat or something. Right, right. Because right. I remember last time we yeah, found someone. Is up. We're back to the cuffs for a minute. <laughs> All right. He just wasn't sure. He just wanted just to make really sure. Just wanted to get in there. I've watched LA Confidential twice since starting this game. Isn't it great? Yeah. Beard Bros homework. Go watch that movie. And if you're young, ask your mother. It's actually, I thought it was going to be way worse. Okay, so now we got this. Lester Patterson. Wallet. All right. Pattis Pattison. So we know who he is. So we can go talk to his wife. Lester Pattison. Sorry, Lester. Hope sorry, Street. Sorry, Mrs. Pattison. I'm sorry, Miss Pattison. Ooh, oh. I am for real. Check out the money. Dude. Anything behind? Just money. Nah, just money. Just money, baby. All right. All right, can I move Let's this? Let's put it away. No. Okay, what else? So we have his address. What about Can we the check other? the other pocket? Yeah, let's there see. There we go. What do we got here? What do we got, baby? Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Bloody letter. California Fire and Life Insurance. Life insurance. Receipt of your application. Weekly premium life insurance policy. Oh. What the fuck? Patterson has life insurance. $16,000. So now we have a motive. Oh, wow. We have a good motive. Did I say modem? We, you said motive, but I think when we started this, though, it seemed like a hit and run, not like a hit intentional. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe he was pushed out into the street. That's real. Maybe the person driving the car was in cahoots with the person who pushed him into the street. 
All right, maybe that's it for the body. Uh, can, oh, we can't well, look we at anything else. We want to look at the other cuff, make sure. <laughs> you and the cuffs, dude. The time that his watch says the name of the murder on it, you guys are going to be so... I told you so'd by me. I told you so'd by Alex, the new brand of... Uh, All right. Of fragrance. <laughs> I told you what so. You got on the and Harris, that's the one. No, it's oh, not him. Oh, it's not him. Intoxicated at the time I recognize the him, though. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now... I'd say he died on impact. So he's drunk. What about the stumbles into the street? Isn't that inconsistent. Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Oh. Ooh. That's so Coroner's awful. report. Okay, so we have the coroner's report. That's tight. Exhibit A. Oh, C. Skin marks. Oh man. Body I hope I never see something feet. like this in real life. Is that a bad question of the day? What's the grisliest crime you've ever seen in real life? Yeah, let's not ask that question. Okay, what's the... What's your... What's your favorite murder mystery? What's, what's that over there to the right? This? There's B, then what's A? I don't know. I think it's tire tracks. The body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Okay, so he got hit... Okay, wait. So he got hit over here and skidded that way. What's this blood? Unless he already had blood. Maybe. Maybe he already had a wound? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, what's your favorite murder mystery? That's a good question of the day. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Saw him coming. So maybe someone was trying to kill him ahead of time and then the cards finished him off. Uh, yeah, something like that, right? Check the trash can. Maybe there's something in there. <laughs> oh, there's a gun in here. He's all yours, detective. No, let's not talk to her yet. We're still, we're still like, investigating. Wait, what's on the floor? Is this thing on the floor? No, it's just paper. Okay, I can't, I can't check that Uh, thing. check the alley? Where did he come from? Another Keeps day playing day. me chimes. Like, oh, ask, uh, can we talk to the dude in front of the car over there? To the left? This fellow over here? Yeah. We're not using intuition no points way, game. No way, no cheaters. No, nope, he, not him. He literally does not want to speak to me. Uh, maybe that guy over there. I, uh, let's check out the, the alleyway. Okay, but let me talk to this guy real quick. We, we didn't talk to this guy, right? No, he's just a... He's just a... Photographer dude. Okay. Alley time. Shut up. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance Oh, stop it. I'm a traffic detect- Alright. <laughs> we got- Oh, is that, is that a, a knife? a bloody knife? Oh. Ooh, like, I knew he was already injured. Check it around, check it around. Zoom in intensely. Knife covered in blood. Could be a what does it knife. say? This is a hit and run case. Star anyone could have thrown away. Stab right. <laughs> That's a stab right. We'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. That's freaking great. Okay, so it, my suspicion was correct. What is that? Oh, just the knife again? I think I saw. Is there not something shiny right there? Am I crazy? Do you see that? I think you are on the ground. I don't see right anything. See that red thing? What is that? No, no, man. It was. It's a can. It's a can of tuna. Okay. What oh, what is here? this? Smokes? Can we zoom in? I don't think this is anything. Oh. <laughs> well, at least he was honest. Is this, like, possible? Is this possible? Are we just going up here now? <laughs> I, is, is it possible? Like, do we think it's possible that there's, like, a, like, like, there could be clues on this roof? Is this, like... No way. There's nothing up here. It doesn't look like there is. It's saving. Right. Yeah. It, we're in a get down. I think it's like, you left the crime scene? We're gonna go ahead and save it. <laughs> oh, that sounds disgusting. Hey, Phelps, did you get your tetanus shot, bro? <laughs> e. There's an evidence thing here. Right, because we found it. Oh, we found it. We, we found it. You see that? What? It, I swear to God, it's playing the chime. Alright. What do you think? Do we, is there no more... Is that... Is Wait, no more what's music? behind the- is it a car- no. The music's still here, we still haven't found everything. I like- do not hear the music. We have to hear the- Remember? Oh, right, right, right. He keeps playing- I think he just plays music when you're nearby a clue, but... Whether you've played it or not is... This? That's a bottle. That's a cigarette. What is that? Nope. Nope. It's a spark plug. Okay, bottle. 
good to me. Okay. Do you think we should just start talking to witnesses? Maybe I don't want to talk to her yet because I feel like every time we talk to like the person we're supposed to talk to, we move on with the plot. You want to go talk to Madman Bartender? Oh yeah, let's talk to people inside. Maybe they heard something. Madman Bartender is a Madman guy. He's probably somebody to talk. You work the rest of the room. Oh, yo, let's jump into this real quick. Yeah, we have to shrink to the stars. Yo, he's a psychiatrist. Let's do it. All right. This is that same dude, right? Yeah. Courtney. Come in. My name is Kyle. Have a seat. I'm Kyle Reese. Thanks, Doctor. Courtney. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Uh-oh. That's a are killer sure? jacket. I think George McFly wore that jacket. Can I be honest with you, Doctor? <laughs> Didn't he? So, yeah, Courtney. probably. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, doctor. Many what the hell? Been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. Think he's going to get killed right now? We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance This guy's obviously a villain. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. This guy's calling like a evil doctor on his shit. Sorry. Getting roasted. I don't mean to criticize. I don't <laughs> being a physician, Courtney, <laughs> learning to be patient. Yeah, enjoy that cigarette, Doc. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. I import f illegal but drugs, Courtney. I said, Courtney. Courtney, I said, I said, I that dude, That dude's the villain. I smuggle illegal drugs, Courtney. I said. That dude's the villain. Let's take him out. <laughs> Let's talk to the, uh... Let's go to his house. Shoot him. Who are you? Who are you, man, at the store? I'm talking to man. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. <laughs> Dudley Lynch. Hired help. Dudley Lynch, okay. The owner ain't around. Did he, like, recover, like, record owner? his dialogue? He stepped out. Somebody like, take more on notes. his MacBook? No. This is Patterson Hall. Okay. So other than being Kinsey in uh, Mad Men, what else do you know about this hit and run incident? Let's ask him. Sir? All right. <laughs> what can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Uh, I doubt okay, that. hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I doubt that. Why? Uh, all the heard was the impact? Look at him. He's like, Glue? Yeah, he's... I doubt that. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Why would, he, why would he try and hide that clue even? Yeah. I don't know. Why would you hide that clue? What are you thinking? All right. <laughs> you know I love that. Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here. Or he was. He seems like he's telling the truth yeah, to me. Yeah, he's telling the truth. Right? Yeah. His I'm, face isn't even moving. Okay. Yeah, no, he's telling the truth. That's oh, fact. One of your favorite customers. Uh, Lester was special, but not my kind of special. What does that mean? Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. What? He didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. That's weird, right? Going out to drink with your wife? Oh, my God. Can we talk to him anymore? No, is that it? I think that's it. I don't think even we're allowed to. All right, you want me, you want me to do one more? Outside? Because I still haven't heard the sound. Have you heard the sound? No, we still gotta find it. What are we missing? I don't know. Go towards them over- Go towards like the, the line to the right with the cop? Behind you? Uh, no. <laughs> what are we? What are we looking for here? Checking out the cuff. You mean to check out the cuff again? No, no, we're fine, okay, dude. You know what? Let's talk to her. To her? Yeah. All right. What was that? Oh, it's probably for the blood. God. Okay. Let's just talk to her. 
the sound system, like, if I had to criticize this game for one thing, it's that the sound indications are, like, not that good. Yeah, you're there right. There should just be, like, a little icon in the corner that, like, shows you. All right, here we go. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Like, almost looks like she's played by Peggy Olsen, but she isn't. <laughs> it, like, is. Yeah. Can you tell us what It's, like, not her, but it, like, well, is her. I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Okay. That's the truth. That's the truth. It cut, checks out with what the bartender said. Yes. She also oh, she looks God. like almost proud I that she said it. I saw a car it. hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, that's true. true. Suspect vehicle what description. Kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Why does she know that so well? The, she's. That's the truth. She seems to be telling the truth. That's way too on point. To she looks so much like Elizabeth Olsen, but it's not. That's her. true. It's just not her. The license plate? It's freaking me out. Only the first I can't help letters, it. I'm afraid. 3C8. 3C8. Wow. All right. Let's this is ask a her. Truthful ass witness. Let's ask her about the argument over her. Okay, yeah, what's it about, baby? Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices a man and a woman. That's all. Uh, I doubt that. You know why? Because she looks like she just farted. I was going to tell you. <laughs> it's on her arm. Look at her arm. What's she doing? Oh, my God. She's grabbing her arm. She's like grabbing she's her doubting. arm. That means she's full of doubt. I doubt that shit, yo. Look at her. Doubt. All right. Why are you <laughs> holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. What the f- I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Trying to find work as an God assistant. damn, people are stupid. Things are pretty difficult. Cough you should just up, sister. We don't have all You should nice. just audition for the roles that Elizabeth Olsen people auditions for. <laughs> they were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. Embarrassing for the man? You really think so? Yeah, we got all those right. I hope you find that driver and put him away. You know what? What? Are we... we certainly got away with Are we done, or...? I guess? Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Let's go talk to the talk to the, the bartender again if we can. Yeah. Okay. Now we ask him about the argument we overheard. Because now we have more a details. Overheard okay. An argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? He just told me this. Alright, so he's <sighs> being a little bit shifty, but he also looks like he's just like happy. So I don't know. I I want to say this because he because he he's doing a different thing than last time he was li like like kind of not telling the truth. So do you think this is the lie animation? I no, I think he's doubt. You think I, I think should just doubt him I again? I think it's doubt. I think if he was uh, if he was lying, if he was lying, we'd see a lot more eye rolls, a lot of eye contact that does not match what we're doing. <laughs> You're just turning into like Foghorn Leghorn. From yeah, Looney I know. Right, I, I, right, say, right, I say, I right. say. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on? She stabbed on him. Here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. Wait. Hold on. So, wait. So, let me get this straight. So he said that it was the wife and the husband arguing, and then he, then the husband fell into the street and got hit by a car. But now he's saying that she actually wasn't even here when when he got hit by the car. Is that what we're saying? I think she was saying that he left. They left. After they fought, and then she left after and went he, home with the owner after they fought, argued. What are you trying to tell us? Let's let's ask him the joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Doubt. <sighs> liar. Doubt. Liar. Doubt. Liar. Look at that. L Hold Look on. At Look at him. Look at him. Hold up. What? I know we've been doing a lot of doubt lately. Uh-huh. I still think he's doubting. You know why? Why? Because someone who's doubtful or Smiles. rather... Smiles. They smile and he's still maintaining eye contact with us. Usually someone who lies can't... Like maintain. You think he's just not telling me the whole story? Yeah, I think he's. I think he, we have to doubt him. He's still like he's cat. Okay, I'm gonna doubt him. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. 
Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? They kind of like act like this in Mad Men too, which is great. Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. What? Thanks for your help, man. Yes! I'm gonna need we to are champs. We Hash. are pros. Tag. Sure. Perfect. No Stocks. Problem. Perfect dicks. You, get anything you, you really regular? warmed up to that. What? Perfect dicks? Away. Yeah. They liked I just imagine Lester that it's not like our actual okay, penis. Okay, look. And Lester was so they a fan of the love tap. They fight all the time, and Lester's a wife beater. Uh, should we call? Do we use the phone? We should call Les Sabo, right? For the address for Sabo? Yeah. And for California Fire and Life or whatever? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through Something now. crazy's going on here. Phelps badge 1247. I need to run a partial license for oh, yeah. 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln How long did this shit take? Just a moment, detective. I don't know. Only one possible make on that license. Jesus. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Shelton on Temple, Patterson on Hope, Sabo. We don't know. Got a break on this one. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go after the cop. We're gonna go after the. Uh, let's go to the Shelton residence. Let's go to the Shelton residence next time on Beard Bros. Uh. Yeah. Shelton resident. Rev, rev, rev. Okay. I'm gonna try that again. Shelton residence next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros. We're going to Shelton's house. Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. No one wants to see that. Check it out. No. Big Bang Theory. Great, they're not, they're not paying show. us. They're not paying to say this. NBC. Really funny. That is the wrong tag. <laughs> Everything about that was wrong. Are you gonna take the coroner's car? No, no, I'm not gonna take you the- You were seriously gonna take the coroner's car. Look at these cars, they're the same goddamn car. Oh my god, you're right. Alright, they're not, but they're close. Next close. time on Beard Bros, I drive the right car. Later, man. Later, man. <laughs> Guess what? What? We're still cops. Hell yeah. Guess what? What? We're solving a murder. You know it. Alright, what do we wanna do? Pattinson or Shel- Pattinson so or go? Shelton? You know what? Let's go to the Sheldon residence first. You think the car is more important than the wife? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's confirm the kill. Confirm the kill. Yes. What is that from? Any game or Any movie. Any game or movie. Got it. <laughs> Welcome to Los Angeles, California. I'm Daddy DeVito. <laughs> That's your Danny DeVito impression? Do you have a better one? No, All God right, no. Yes. I am not <laughs> I am not the impressions man. Alright, we're here at the residence. Shelton. There it is. Blake Shelton. Who's that? Who's that? Yo, is that a you celebrity? drove? I guess. I thought your partner drove. Me too. That's what I told him to do. Oh, it's a stakeout. Yo, we staking. We staking, baby. Oh, why are you leaving? Where are you guy, going? This guy is hightailing it out of here. You better leave, bro. Dude, nice apartment, though. Guess what? We're the cops. Oh, my God. This oh, is Oh, that blood on the <laughs> front of the bumper. That's the son of a bitch right there. Son of a Sheldon? bitch. Yes. It doesn't look good, Sheldon. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene. Not to mention the physical. This guy looks like a bellboy at the Tower Hotel. That's real though. Whoa! What? Car chase? Oh, Alex. Yeah. Chase that man down. They if there's one thing I know how to do, it's to break the raw laws, the road laws. I make we a lot more are the cops. I make a lot more speech mistakes when I'm playing. Yeah, dude. Welcome to my life. Oh! Oh my god, you almost took out the whole power of 4th Street. I know, I know, Street. I know. What do I do with him? Uh, run him over. Enough games, Phelps. Take this Yeah, out. stop the car. We don't- we don't have guns, so the best thing is just ram him off the road. Just- All right. just tap. The Come on. There you go. Lay into the wheel arches. You got this, Alex. Driving like this. Oh. Come on, come on, get in there. This car is Go so much easier to catch up. Oh! 
No, we're, that's coming to your paycheck, not that's mine. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, oh! <laughs> right, I live in a small apartment by myself. Oh! Oh my god, dude! How is this guy? I T-boned his car! What else do I need to do? Look at this, I just creep on him and then I get him. Each time. Oh! Is he still in the, in the car? He's stuck. All right, I give up. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. <laughs> give it up, LAPD. Got Bob, sir. Manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. Yeah, Shelton. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. And there's a farmer who needs the back of his truck fixed. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. Woman and a man? They could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Woman and a man. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Oh yeah. Woman and a man. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? I think... You I think... think I think... Him and show, I him think the, the wife, the bartender, and this dude murdered him. Let's book them all, Alex! You think the bartender is in on this? No, not the bartender, I'm sorry. Like, the bartender owner. The guy who owns the bar. Yeah, I think those two guys, I think that they got in a fight and then he came and stabbed him and threw him in the street. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Let's- Everyone's going to jail. Let's be cops. Yeah. Everyone. Arrest everyone. Let's be Second cops. Second Beer Pro's homework. So go buy Let's Be Cops on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go buy that on Blu-ray. And then just- right. Did I see that with you? Pretty unusual yeah. Oh, it was fine. We, we laughed. The worst part was that he's a game developer. <laughs> and that he was like really like a bad game- like- it was like a really bad, Maybe like, she give a fuck. like depiction of what game developing is. You don't think I thought that was super weird about that movie. Run over, so it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? <laughs> They're like so close to that guy in front of them. Thing about Ellie Noir and Fallout is that they have the same con uh, same soundtrack. Pattison residence. I want to go see if you can go to my house in this game. Probably not. All right, let's go inside. Maybe though. It's only eight. It's eight square miles, right? Let's go inside. I'm in. Open that door. Yes. We're cops. This is Pattison. Is this about my husband? What have I seen this You're actress? Investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Yo, how do you know? And why are you so chipper? Because she was right there when he got hit you by the car. You were a part of it all. She so, wasn't at the scene, though. Yes, yeah, she was. Well, not... Well, because Leroy mm. took her home. Okay, okay. Should I just go talk to her, or is there, like, clues? I don't hear a chime. Let's go talk to her. All right, baby. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car, and now he's dead. All right. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand <laughs> it now, but that happened a lot back then. Oh, I see. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this You guys said the same thing. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. We're cops, dude. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting. Are they like reusing know. actors? All no. Right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. All right. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. I don't believe that for a second. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You boning friends friends with Look, benefits for divorce mental cruelty lester could be a mean son of a bitch and lester knew about that no i hadn't told him well hasn't this worked i think she was in Men too 
I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Yeah, he's not... I like my partner. Let's talk about that hit and run incident. I like the partner. Bukowski? I'm the, I'll be the partner. <laughs> you are Phelps. Yeah. Fuck that guy. All right. She's innocent. Hey. Until I say otherwise. <laughs> oh, my God. He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. I doubt that shit. I doubt <laughs> it. <laughs> that is the most truly <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You expect me to believe that? <laughs> it's all. <laughs> Handling for Lester was like the needle for a hop head. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. <laughs> Sorry for the driver. <laughs> she, she was like, "He just got by a car." <laughs> Nature of the argument. Yeah, let's go. Let's you get were in arguing it. Arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Okay. Oh, she's she's doubting. Yeah. She's doubting. I doubt I because I don't have I don't have evidence to like like to roast her with, but I I don't think she's being truthful. Yeah, I don't I don't think she's lying either. Yeah, right. Pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Is that when you stabbed him? You stabbed him with a knife? Exception to his idea. And then you stabbed him with a knife or Tell us about your boyfriend. And Leroy were planning to go into business together. That asshole. Explain how you'll get the money to do that? Yeah. Have a little money saved away. Bullshit. You are full of shit. Uh, Look at that. She's being so liar, shit. Liar, <laughs> liar, <laughs> pants on fire. Alex, she she, with a lie? she is lying through her teeth. Because of the, because of the, uh, the life Look insurance. At Look at the. She bit the lip. She look at the eyes widening. She's looking left and right. She's yo, looking back up. Yo, you know why it said what the fuck on the fucking life insurance? Cause she because wrote she it. made it bigger. She synced it. She made it bigger and he was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, lie. Lie. Use the life insurance policy. You want to back that up, little man? You want to get fucking told? Give her that you insurance. Get you want to get told right now? Yeah, she increased the premium and now he's like, what the hell? It's 16K. Was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut. Real talk though, ma'am, I would like to borrow that shirt. It's a pretty good, good shirt. Advice. Hers? Motive yeah. And premeditation, Lorna. I would love to have a shirt that looked like that. Ugh. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. Why are you letting me know about my outfits right now? Cause we got a Hondo Pacento. Oh, we got an outfit. Sunset strip outfit. I can see what a tough time you're having. With We're in the strip, Alex. Dude, we in the sunset strip. Okay. Yo, let's make a phone call real quick. See that? Yeah. Yo, real quick. Can though? we go back in the room though and no, make a phone call? I don't know. It's a little bright out here though. Like, don't you think I should maybe like swap out for my sunset strip? Woo! Look at that tie. My sunset strip outfit. Get back in there. Make What's that phone up, call. Baby? Get back now in there. I'm make that make phone, call. phone call. I believe Excuse I, me, ma'am. I, I need to have use a phone call. Phone. She's gonna go into your husband, deceased husband's office. I'm just gonna quickly look at this bottle of beer. <laughs> All right, great. That sure is beer. Where's the phone? <laughs> Operator, give me R and I. This is like Kevin Spacey's outfit <laughs> in Fellas, LA Confidential. Yeah, Jack Vincennes. How can I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Stab wound, right? Stab wound. Stab wounds. Thank you. We got to go to the morgue. To the morgue! To the morgue, morgue, the morgue. Good thing the I morgue, dressed up for this. Morgue, 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 morgue. Watch this. You murdered your husband, and I'm gonna arrest you. <laughs> you murdered your husband, and I'm gonna arrest you. It You're gonna go to jail. You. You're gonna go to jail. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail and not open the bar. <laughs> You're never gonna open a bar because you tried to murder your husband. And that we... is how the law works, and we are the police. <laughs> <And> we... <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we going? <laughs> and we're on the case because we're perfect dicks, and we're we can see the truth. Da, 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 no da, 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 you can't lie to us, because we are cow-like. <laughs> we 
our <laughs> Cal Lightman. We should, All of our training yeah. has come to this. We like fuse fusion dance with Cal Lightman. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. You're not gonna open a bar because we are the police. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> We're gonna oh, find I'm a step. Water <laughs> you're just spilling? <laughs> I'm laughing so hard at pouring water over my body. <laughs> All right, where's where's our boy uh, Leroy at? Morg, right here. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. <coughs> by me again? Stab wound. Victor oh, not Leroy. Dead. Sorry, I said Leroy because that was Leroy is the name of the, the owner of the donor. It's a good name for a coroner too, though. Leroy Jansen. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death. Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. I Remember found it, it in the trash. We found a knife in the alleyway. Yeah. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. Whoa! All we have we to have do is knife. DNA test. Oh, wait. And I bet we could roll Sabo as a we're going to go and catch them. Bring You're going to go to jail. We're going to go and arrest you. <laughs> stab right. See, I knew it. I knew it was called stab right. What? The knife brand was stab right. Gotcha. We're gonna get you. We we're were just gonna... at your house, but now we're coming back because <laughs> we went to the corridor and he confirmed our theory that you are the murderer. Right. And now we have hard evidence. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail. That's judicial process. That's the real deal. You can't break the law because we are the police. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm Yo, in the passenger I, seat. I know that uh it's more fun when they drive the car. What? Like I don't like the driving in this game. It's scary. I like them to drive. The cars are so floaty. It's like driving a Mario Kart. Hunt him down. Now I'm going to arrest them in style. How much you want to bet they're gone? How much you want to bet they skip town? You spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. I dare you to run away. I will shoot you in the leg. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Are you serious? Now. Leroy, if you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand I see you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how he had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all oh, the money we could claim. All that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. Bases covered, baby. Oh my God, he's gonna, 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 gonna shoot her in the back. He's gonna shoot her in the back. He's gonna shoot him in the back. Oh shit! Go. It's too late, Sabo. Not gonna lie, she deserved it, but go. Oh my God, why, why did, did I jump the fence? Should I just shoot him? No. He had a. He shot somebody. We don't want to. We want to apprehend him. Should I shoot him in the leg? Shoot him in the leg? No? He's shooting at me! Oh, I don't know, dude. I feel like if we shoot him... Oh! Oh, get close enough, and then be like, don't sh sh uh, stop. In the name of love. Oh my god, he's so fast! I oh, lost no, him. No, you oh, didn't. No, he's I... right there. Oh, oh my god. god. Now, you have to, now you have to shoot him. Are we gonna make a bargain, or what? What bargain? Put the weapon down now. Just don't say something racist. Shoot him in the arm or leg. Okay. Oh, you got, oh, you gotta shoot him. You gotta shoot him. You wanna back off right now. Oh my god. I'll okay. do it. Okay. Say goodnight then. Oh my god. You gotta shoot her. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> the controls are not good enough for me to like make this good of a shot. All right, I'll try again. That was that was that was sucky. I say we should stop him before he gets to the hostage. That's what I'm trying to do, but I, I'm just not fast. Let's go in there. Can I just skip? Can this? we skip this? Yeah. Go. Go, late, go, so go, 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 go. Look at that shit. He just killed that guy. You saved him. You pushed him. 
Oh, no. Shit. Now do it. Samo, stop or I will shoot. Dude, he doesn't... He's not... He doesn't give fucks. I don't want to shoot him. I, I have shoot to shoot him. It's making me choose to shoot no, him. No, if you shoot him, just hold it. I can't. I guarantee if you do it, Alex, we'll get him. You think- but uh, he's yeah. here. He already has the hostage. No, not yet. Now he has the hostage. Because we lost him. There's no- I can't go faster. Try and shoot him I'm not just gonna, in the- I'm just gonna shoot him right in the arm. Yeah. I'm gonna like, try at least. Flat, let's negotiate. Try and get him in the leg or, or like the on? arm. Now. Say goodnight, then. Oh! Damn, he what the- killed her. You had Leroy! A is invincible. No. He took a shot to the chest and just kept going. You want me to just shoot his ass? No, no. Apprehend him. We gotta put him to jail. I'm he killed Lorna. I'm trying. Poor Lorna, dude. All right. Never forget right, Lorna. Sabo. I mean, she deserved it, but still. Nope. God, fucking damn this. Get in there. Now's I, your time. No, I... Now. He's on the run. Here. Got him. Bam. Oh my Check god. Check it out. Check it out. Dude, fuck. What the hell? Why we did he stop that time? We teleported. <laughs> Welcome to jail. Leroy. Leroy jail. jail time. Do you think Lorna died? Absolutely. Dude, that was the exact sound of a trap and saw. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. <laughs> you got some sharp elbows on you. I'm crushing it. I like that. Keep up the good work. Except for the part where I shot, like, let the hostage die. Nah, dude, don't worry about it. Don't even trip. Bam. Bam. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Which is like four thousand dollars in the 1940s, but that's okay. Another <laughs> visit to Ray's and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Yeah, dude. What is that? I don't know. Who's Ray? Let's not get too hasty. Ray's bar? Yeah. Whatever. I like nailed it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Bopped that. Yeah, dude. A slip of the tongue. The next case. The next case. I hope we just find a tongue and we have to find out whose tongue it is and who got murdered. Well, Mikowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. What? I just, like, brought in a murderer. All right, next time on Beard Bros, a slip of the tongue? You slip of the tongue. I swear All right. The more bent card we bring in, Later, man. The Hell yeah. Guess what? What? We're still cops. <laughs> Dude, we're never going to stop being Welcome. cops until the streets are clean. Welcome to Clean Street Sweeper Bros. <laughs> the Street Sweeper Bros. I'm Gerard. I'm a street sweeper. And today... I'm Detective Cole Phelps. Um, so I don't... We're, we're not really using a guide per se, but I do do some research in between each episode we're doing. Yeah. And just to like get an idea of like what this case is about. Yeah. Um, just like, you know... That kind of stuff. This is called A Slip of the Tongue. be in front of a grand jury by next week. It originally was a pre-order bonus from Walmart in Canada and in the U.S. Well, hey! So, it came with the game's soundtrack. Um... Sick soundtrack. Yeah. And, uh... That's about it. The rest is just pretty, like, play the game. Play the game. So... Great. This happened... January 29th... Uh, it's a real 1947. case? 1947. So I guess I guess this game car, when you the buy the collector or buy the whole thing, it uh -huh. like fills in the gaps. Remember, so if we didn't have the DLC the portion, we'd be playing a different just, case right now. Skip right over this. But, but if you play from the beginning, place now. yeah. Interesting. In of a green There's the fucking. All right, dude, get out of the way. We're cops. Get on the freeway. It's fresh built. 
fresh Bill Freeway. Not that fresh. Oh! Woo! Dude, you just didn't hit that cop. Oh! Stop him. Officer Phelps, I command you to stop him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I agree. What do you mean? I'm doing it. No, you're not. He's taking you out. That's what he's doing. No, he's not. Take Knocked him out to dinner. Up. Take him out to dinner. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, the, the city. The, the city. The city's going to be so mad. There you go. He's stuck. Get out. Point the gun. Point the gun. All right. All right. Maybe Show me your hands. Over the speed Show them. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? Dude, this suit is too much. What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. <laughs> what? Your mind. My suit I is too much. Car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Uh -oh. Let me see this. Like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Sorry we fucked up your car, but... <laughs> see, the thing is, we're cops, so... Dude. Uh, I looked at that achievement, and it's because we, uh, we stopped him before the other- and anyone else did. Because I guess, like, at one point... It's you like, oh, damn. anything better to do? But I've got a class I need to get to. Oh yeah? Well, maybe you should wear cooler clothes next time, vest boy. Yeah. Where's your you fucking sunset suit, huh? Do, but I've got a class I need to get to. Let's ask him about that vehicle. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Seems like he's telling the truth that's, to me. That's real, yeah. I believe you. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. All right. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. All right. Seems legit, cause we are cops. I'm a cop. I'll say that was legit. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. <sighs> yeah. He's okay. Hold on. Well, he looks like he's telling the truth. But he's not. Why do you think he's not telling the truth? Oh, yo. Welcome to the world of lie to me, where I've watched this show so much. You think he's trying to look like micro, he's like... Micro... Micro... Expressions. Oh, he looks shifty to the side for a look, second. Look, look at it. His eyes are blinking. His mouth is a little dry. He's like kind of like trying to like, you know, keep it going. He's not lying, but... We should doubt him. We should doubt him. You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Wacky backy? One reefer. One reefer? We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Sounds like my grandparents talking about drugs. I guess that's literally what yo, it is. Yo, Phelps is like, yo, whatever. Yo, were you high when you put on that vest? <laughs> Roasted! All right. Question what of the day. With, Take a photo or be real homework. Richard Coombs. Photo your worst. Like, send us the worst photo of your, like... What do you think the, the like the ugliest thing you regularly wear is? Yeah, Dude, this is some of the truth. He just told us who, who yeah. put the car from. He, he told me he has weed in his car too. To the cops. Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Great, tight. Anytime I see that three out of three, I feel like we just are like. You, gotta be you guys can't see, but I'm we like we always dab. We, we dab. Hashtag perfect dicks. <laughs> Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth I'm gonna shut. just keep leaning on that one until we get a shirt out of it. <laughs> new merch! Hashtag new merch! Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? Oh, no. No. Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Yeah. Coombs Auto. Coombs Auto. You need to drive. Let's go to Coombs. Do we know where we're going? Yes. We're going to Coombs. Or what? I think he's telling the truth. What? Yo, is this like city like not loading? The voiceover yeah. stopped. That's the lemon wash whistle. <laughs> That's the lemon wash whistle, baby. I was too fast at being a cop for the game. We were too good at detecting. God, this looks so cool. I wish, like, this was a PS4 game. 
and then the graphics look a little bit better. Not another step. Just because it looks so I cool. I've got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> These for salesmen you. always start off so Go smart. Go talk to him. Yeah. Victor Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harris <laughs> He's claims he oh. bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Oh my god, he looks just like the actor. Yeah. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? Fraser. It's in my office. Walk this way. Named after the uh, movie star of Parental Control. What? <laughs> did anyone just see... Did nope, did anyone I just see the swagger walk he had? <laughs> he looked like he had, like, big head mode on. Patrick, play that back in slow <laughs> like, motion with, like, with some, like... With some good, sweet ass jazz. Yeah. I love to sing up about the moon and the June and the spring up. I love to sing up about a sky of blue or a teapot too. Anything with a swing or two, and I love you. <laughs> okay, so uh, I should follow him inside. Yeah, look for clues. Let's go. Let's go check him out. We got clue situation going on here. Maybe. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Okay. Oh, grab the pink slip. That's a clue. Okay. Wait, this is to Gene Archer. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. This is who used to own it? Can you press X? Yeah. Transfer by owner. New location. Trace address for marquee printing. Yeah, it's a forgery. It's gotta be, right? So that's the... that's the pink slip. What's the other paper? Okay. Wait, let me look at this again. Real quick, for real. Let's so we'll look on the other... on the back side. Oh! Yeah. That's all I can look at? Okay. I just thought I missed that bit. This guy's super good at folding. All right. What you got for us? Receipt. Cliff. Oh, the bill of sale. Yeah. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. So he bought it. This is weird. Huh. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Okay. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. He looks very much like he's telling he, the truth. He's telling the truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. You think she was trying to sell the car off? Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. This guy seems like a straight shooter to me so far. Yeah. Description uh, of the suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. So she fra so she so she forged the pink slip and sold the car. He's telling the truth. Yeah. Like he just seems like he's trying to help me. Yeah. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the time. <laughs> it's like writing a detective novel. <laughs> Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. That guy does have a sick tie, let's be real. He seems just like he's telling the truth to me. Yeah, that's, that sounds... Yeah, he's telling the truth. He's just been the Marquee truth, bro. Yeah, printing. he's just helped me out. He's just been a nice boy. Him? Yeah. Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. He said Pedro. He must really live here. <laughs> when exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Cook? Close of play on Friday. Ooh. Oh. He's I, not lying, but... Yeah, he just... Maybe he can't remember, I but think, he's... I think he's like... He's like, you know, maybe it's not true. I, I don't think he believes himself, so he's doubting. We doubt him. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. 
All right, the transaction, let's hear it. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> okay, this is the most obviously shitty, like, expression I've ever seen. I mean, I can't tell if he's lying or if I should just doubt him, but he looks so damn shifty. Well, let's let's discuss this. Okay. What qualifies him to be shady in he this instance? Bought, he bought a car that... Regardless of, of what it is, I'm talking about visually right now on screen, what oh, makes him shady? Look at, he's going like... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's got like this weird smirk on his face and he's like, uh, yes. So, um, so from my experience, anyone who lies in this game, they never make eye contact or they'll break eye contact all the time. You're as thick as a whale sandwich, aren't you, son? I think this guy, if I had to, I, I, I don't think he's telling the truth, obviously, because the smirking smile but he also understands that we are serious with being cops. So do you think I should just doubt him? I think we should doubt him. I don't know. That's just me. What do you think? I think I'm, I felt like I wanted to doubt him. You, oh, is that what you felt too? Yeah. I just He just doesn't seem like he's being entirely truthful and that he yeah, might have. Yeah, he's definitely, I don't think. Does this look legitimate to you? Yeah. Coons? Like, I think he just like. I'm in used cars, son. Not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, he but made some allowances. High and mighty with me. Just embarrassing. You want my help. Wow. Thanks for your help. Whew. That was the hardest question so far. I'm going to smack this dude. Sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Dang. Shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coons. Huh. All right. All right. Can you look at the evidence we have so far, Alex? Well, yeah, might let me just call in the, uh, run an APB on Gene Archer. yeah, I just got to call in. It's part of being a cop, you know, it's not as glamorous as some of the other stuff that happens, but, uh, yeah, you gotta use the game well every once in a while. Just get the information out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drink some of this cucumber rock star. We're not brought to us by rock, by monster or rock star. It's actually not that good, so... Don't worry about it. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Tight. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. Okay. They're waiting so on I can go interview that guy? Interview. Thanks, ma'am. I can go interview that guy, or I can go to the police station, or I can go to the uh, printing shop. No, let's go talk to, let's go talk to Gene. Well, I didn't. I don't have her address yet, do I? Yeah. Is this it here? Yeah, because it's all. It was on the uh, pink slip. Okay, so you think I should go to? Let's Gene? go talk. To, go, let's go straight to the horse. All right. Let's go straight to the horse. So we can hear from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're cops. It's like all a, right. It's like the the Hold on. Shrek. Let me onion. just give you all a little context. Okay. I'm not playing a game. Yeah. I am not stressed out. Yeah. He loves all it. All I'm doing. He's having a great is time. Is drinking God. water. <laughs> Feeling good, a wonderful beverage. Yelling at people like I don't give a fuck. Calling them liars, calling them out on their shit too. We have a, per we're doing perfect. We're perfect bros, perfect dicks, dude. I now understand the perfect dicks. You get it. We're going for a perfect game. Yeah, perfect detective. We're gonna be perfect dicks. You just thought I was just being like a weird guy who was. I thought you were saying like we are men who are well endowed with the glorious of rods, but no, this makes more sense to me now. Perfect detectives, perfect dicks. Perfect detectives. Perfect dicks. I get it. I'm on board. Welcome to episode whatever the hell this is of we're Noir. We're there. What episode is this? 12? No, 10? I think we're 9. <laughs> 6? Episode, I don't know. 900? Episode 42. Episode 70. Welcome. Episode 60 noon. 60 noon? I wanted to say 69, but I was like, oh, <laughs> you got too inappropriate. You got too scared? <laughs> yeah, so I just I went, said fuck a second ago. <laughs> 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 I said fuck a second ago. <laughs> is this an empty lot? Is that what we're looking at here? Or is no, it that the, small house? The lot hadn't loaded yet. That's what it was. Okay. I should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. 
We should go to the station. See Fake the address. Guy has to say. Oh, man. All Fake right. Fake address. We're going to the cops now. Or to the printing company. What do you want to do? Let's go to the cops. Let's tell our friends. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's do it. No big deal. Hey. We also, always, you know what we always say in the office? What? No sweaties. Yeah. I say that all the time in my whole life. No sweaties, everywhere. Betty. You know what else I say? Uh, Rockstar cucumber <laughs> energy gives me the burps. Hashtag sponsored question mark? Definitely not. Hashtag could be sponsored. No one knows. Let me know. Let me know. Someone tell them. All right, let's let's do this. What room? One. <sighs> one or I don't know. Let me talk to him again. I just don't remember which one he said. Interview room one is over here. Doesn't seem like it's in here. <laughs> I want to talk to the guy who's not in here. Why didn't you put him in? All right. Why would you put him in two? Why would you put him in two? I did talking to a wall. <laughs> You'll never believe this. <laughs> Crummy bastard. What the? F James Belasco. I want a lawyer. It's my Dude, car and I got the proof right here. Take a this look. This is yourself. Dale Gribble. We got to go to the printing spot, dude. Look at this. The pink same thing again. Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Can you back out? There's nothing on the back. It's not even signed. Is the same car again? Hey, fuck you, asshole! Whoa, whoa! Why are you taking the car, James. Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Show me a Greenhorn. Don't be an asshole. Doubt him. Doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're Hell yeah. Ten years, Belasco. Hell yeah. Your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. I want a deal. Cars out of state, Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Got him. S association with Archer. Got him. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Look at his face. You Look are his face. full of Girl? shit. Girl? You are Girl? so fucking full of it. Should I doubt him or... If you had a fucking iPhone right now, you would be playing Happy Flappy Bird on it to not look at us in the eye. <laughs> Call that fucker a liar. He's so lying. What do I use as, it? What do I use as evidence, though? What? For, for what? For him to know. If I call him a liar... We have we have the the the, the original uh, the fake address. The fake address. It proves that it proves that we. It's, it's on. Is it the same? It's on his pink slip too. Yeah, and the address is not real. Okay. We went there. It was an empty lot. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Fake address? Fake address. I swear? I'm I'm betting my money on that fake address. All right. So that's why you both have the same address. Oh, there we go. Your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right. I know. Her. Boom. Damn. Damn. Check me out. Damn. Check me out. I'm a perfect <laughs> dick. Uh, uh, he loves it now, you guys. What? Immediately. Uh, 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 uh. Immediate 180 on the perfect dicks thing. All right. Auto theft racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just delivered. Oh them. yeah, okay. <sighs> Doubt that fucker. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, okay. I hear you. <laughs> that line is right out of uh, L.A. Confidential. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Okay. Oh, tell us about the warehouse. The cars, this guy is gonna warehouse. just get murdered by the mob. Mainly in East downtown. Doubt. Where? Come on. Give me the address. Come An on. Address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And see what we can do. Damn. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information. Damn. Still nailing it. 
And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. Man of my word. But real talk, you should have thought about that before you started stealing fucking cars, bro. Yeah, dude. We're the cops, dude. Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with technical services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed See? that the numbers are legitimate. What? You check them out. Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great day. <laughs> we'll get down there as soon as we can. Yeah, we're going to roast this guy alive. That guy's going to get roasted alive. Oh, we are so going to become the super... GTA suspect, Gene oh. Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Okay, should I drive there? You think I should drive to her? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, okay. Come on! We don't want to lose her! God damn it. Get out of the way. Put your, so... put your horn on. God damn it. It's still so hard to drive. Alright. Is that Let's... where we're going? The flag? Yeah. I think so. Less than a minute down the street, he said, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Gotcha. <laughs> they can't use the Western Union logo. Oh yeah, they did. Hi. LAPD. Gotcha. God damn it! Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? No. You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Stefan. To get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Um, we're gonna have to ask you about the. Uh... We're gonna have to ask you about what episode of Parental Control Frasier is on. That's the real case here. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Uh, I'm gonna say I doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were. You know why I didn't say lie? Because she was what fucking convinced. She, yeah. She gave the look of Give truth. Something. Yeah. I was just doing what they do. They pay me fifty bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. Dude, she's just admitting to these crimes. You're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. I'm gonna arrest you for stealing cars. What's your supposed to do, Belasco? Belasco been delivering cars. Who is James Belasco? We are two guys. I should call her the lie, same, same exact lie, shit, right? Liar, fake address. liar, pants on fire. James Show the Belasco. motherfucking I fake address. Name, oh, I. Oh, I think you did, didn't you? Well, <laughs> wow. Anyway, I don't know him. You are so. Show him the fake address one more time. <laughs> you sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell Bigelow? the car? Yeah, that too. Who's Bigelow? <laughs> Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I doubt it. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Look at her. Boop. Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. If this Big warehouse is a if this is a fake address, now you've got what you want. Can I'm gonna be go? infuriated. Please. Yeah, man, that's real. Man, we've got a car waiting outside for you. <laughs> career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, 
But yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stefan, you card. That hat is on her head. Did we get all the questions right? I didn't see the- Yeah, three out of three, bitch. Tight. Alright, next time on Beard Bros, we go to the the warehouse shootout. Next time, we're gonna go to that- Yeah, we're gonna go to that printing company and figure out what the fuck is going on. Oh, we gotta go to the printing company too. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh! Achievement, imbecile. achievement, what's up? What's up? Wow. It's a little bit, uh... <laughs> doesn't that translate to dumb girl? Dumb woman? Uh, yeah. Uh, stupid girl? Well, it's like, you know, femme fatale. Yeah, I get it. I get that's it. What it's, that's what it's- it's- uh, it's- it's parody, Alex, you wouldn't know. Yeah, 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 I know, I'll figure you, out. I'll, yeah, I'll figure humor, out humor, humor in you is like... Yeah, I know, I'm a dead- you're, you're I'm a, little a dead soul. I'm a ghost <laughs> with no sense of humor. The, Next time on Beer Bros, we're gonna go- we're gonna go get some- some paper we're, printing. We're gonna go to the printer, and then we're gonna probably have a shootout at a warehouse, I have a feeling. Yeah, let's go murder someone who deserves to be murdered. Yeah, well... Let's well, not, who knows? Let's not get into that. Let's, let's not get not, into philosophy yeah, here. Yeah, let's right. not- later, man. Later, man. I have something to share with everyone today. Please. A very special... Breaking news. Okay. An exclusive here on uh, Super LA Noir Bros. Great. We're still cops. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, after all this, we're still we're still here. Still cops. We're still taking the world down. You're right. Right now, we are focusing on uh, investigating the print company. Yeah. We got it. Right. We've taken this all the way to the top. We broke open. This stolen well, so, car ring. Yeah, so let's this go. Could, this let, could this could be enough to get let's us out go, of the Let's go to the Mar Marquee Printing Company. This could get us into homicide. <gasps> this could be the, this could be our big case. This could be it. I don't think it is. I think there's I, just I don't know. because don't, it's don't a get my hopes just because it's a DLC don't, case. Don't, I don't, don't get my hopes up. You know. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable <laughs> Cole Phelps. She's <laughs> not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. <laughs> You're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah, the man is human <laughs> after all. Now we're getting. I like Bukowski. Yep, I'm with you. Stefan Bukowski. Are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good bread. <laughs> but I draw the line at bread. <laughs> yeah, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. <laughs> man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Damn. Wow. Cops were way different back in the day. Yeah. Or were they? I say what they weren't. They weren't perfect dicks like us. <laughs> That's you love for sure. the perfect dicks thing now. I, I get it. What have I created? The perfect. The perfect dicks. The perfect dicks. Got it. <laughs> what? Where am I going? Okay. <laughs> That was like a really long, like, silent driving segment. Alright. What do you think it's gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be, like, the boss, or do you think it's gonna be, like, somebody else? I, I don't know. I, I feel like this yeah, is... It's, it's tough. I don't know. I feel like this is gonna end in blood. I think this is gonna At the end Marquee Printing Company? No, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna find out something over here. I'm gonna throw it in the face of whoever's at the warehouse, and they're gonna try and kill me. That's what I think is gonna happen. I'm kinda with you on that. I don't like it. Nobody likes getting shot at. No one likes messing with the cops. But that's what it's like when you're a cop on the force. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am. Gordon Lightball. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Are you going to take off? Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, 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 have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talent. Oh boy. Oh boy, we found something. <laughs> Let's talk it out. Should I... No clues, right? There's no music? I mean, maybe I... Uh, you know... Can we like... No, there's not even anything. Anything... Like, check the desk, maybe? Can you go behind? <gasps> What's this? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna talk to the dude. Should I just talk to him? You think? Um, I don't know. So let's, I mean, we can look around for a bit if you want. I'm not getting a lot of twinklies. 
Yeah, maybe not. No, no. Let's just let's just yeah. Do let's this. chat with the man. Let's chat with the man. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Knowledge of your theft racket. What's going on, Mr. Lightball? We're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Oh my God. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Oh my God, you're sweating bullets. All right, hold on. Actually. Now no, he's, he's being he, a little. He's being shady, but he's still making eye contact. Yeah, I want to lean on him. In. I just want to lean, yeah, lean on him. I just want to lean on him. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. All right, tell us about the supply. Yeah, let's hear. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Goo. Wait, I'm gonna. Wait, he seems truthful. Lean oh. on him. No, nope. oh. lean on yep. him. Lean on him. <laughs> He's not lying. Lean on him. He just had to wait, and then he goes like, doubt, doubt, <laughs> doubt. Look at that. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. He goes like, yeah, this is totally the truth. And then he like, whoop, shady boys. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. You're probably allergic to liars. That's probably what That's it is. <laughs> I doubt. Yeah. Got his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. <laughs> now that I think about it, uh, Coombs sounds familiar. Sing, Canary, sing. May have been involved in stolen documents in the past. <laughs> I'm He's sorry. trying to frame Coombs. What's the matter? He's lying too much. Yeah, I just. It's bullshit. You're making my partner sick. You're making me Light sick, ball? dude. I'm coming after your and children. And next time, pick a vest that matches your pants. Listen, I'm busy. You know where the door is. Oh, hey, s hey we're the cops. Dress better, and I'll answer your questions quicker. <laughs> All right. Ask him about the Coombs. You have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball. We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts I of records. I am the police. Doubt. I doubt. I am the police. Lean on that. He's I am the police. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Oh Take off. God. Take off. Run. Run so we can shoot you. Five hidden vehicles? We just unlocked five hidden vehicles? What does that mean? I don't know. No. No, no. We're still, we're still looking schnazzy. All right. All right. All right. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh. Bigelow. Bigelow. Oh, yeah. Bigelow. There we down, go. Down, 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 down. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. What? We have one more place to go. Is that really it? Yeah, we have two instances where Bigelow is there. Three, four, four instances. The Wright brothers? There's so many at 58 Industrial. Oh, yeah. That's where we're going. Okay. It's weird that we're just like, see ya. That's it? That's all he has to share with me? That's it. All right. Let's go be cops. What does it mean? Let's five go be vehicles? cops. Let's go be some cops. What do you think five hidden Let's vehicles Let's go be means? the cops. Let's the wheel. Let's keep being uh, the cops. Where are we going? It's still telling me that there's stuff to do here. Is there? Is there? I don't know. Should we go back inside and look? Doesn't it? Doesn't he usually cross it off the list? Yeah. What about you? Okay. Sorry, okay. Pal. He's had enough. All right. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I just pressed. Can you square. talk to him again? Well, I trust you've got all that you need. Huh. Is he still making that noise? I don't know. I is there something I'm supposed to recognize? Is there something else I'm supposed to recognize? I don't know. Oliver, Can Howison, we... Goldman, C.P. Lawrence. Click on the uh, address. No, I already did that. Hmm. 
Doesn't he, doesn't he usually cross it off? Is there anything behind the desk? Can you go behind the desk or anything? Uh... Time clock. You think I could just walk behind the desk? Yeah, why not? Doesn't seem like- oh, unless I can go in here. No. It's weird that he's not checking it off, right? I'm I not. think we're fine. Alright, whatever. Alright. You can drive. Bigelow? And where exactly are we going? Yeah. Alright, let's go. I don't feel good about that. I feel like we missed something. Yeah, me too. This is, uh, some pretty intense music. That doesn't bode well for me. I wonder what kind of guns I have. So it said, wait, what did it say? It says I can get guns out of the trunk? Yeah. I feel like this is gonna be a shootout. Am I crazy? No. They're already- look, they're oh, already- Oh, dude, we're already there. At least I'm gonna look good for this shootout. I thought you Marines were gung-ho, Cole. You have a 45. don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Give me a few seconds to get around there. You peer pressuring me into like going into a firefight alone? All right. So, is it true that I should be looking for like, like non-violent ways out of this? Like, like should I be like trying to like do the equivalent of like not shooting the guys? I don't know. Cole Phelps, you can try. LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Should I just I guess we him? gotta kill him, yeah. One down. Alright, make way inside. Okay. Run inside. And take cover. Oh my god, okay. Why won't you go fucking down? Throw out the guns. Dang. One, okay, another one down. <gasps> Wait, what? Alex, what? Uh, like, can you, like, look in the view? Like, look, look to your right? What? See the engine block? Right there? Fucking shoot it. Take it down. This? Yeah. Oh my- <laughs> Oh, we didn't get anyone. <laughs> All right, what the f God damn it. All right. All right. Nobody died. No, you're doing great. Oh God, no. How long do you think you can hold out? There's so many dudes. Take your time. You're fine. All right. Is that my guy? Yeah, he's your your team. Got him. Up out, bitch. Where's he shooting at me from? There he is. Woo! <laughs> he ain't gonna be now, one or two. All right, all right. Where is he? You see him? No. Yeah, there, oh, he, there is. he is. Headshot. Headshot. Come on, pop your head up. Got him. Oh. I right, follow him. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. Just walk up. Walk up. Yo. Is that guy down? No. Got him. Shotgun? How do I change? grab it? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Hi. Okay. Oh. Alright, alright. Don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Don't Watch shoot, he said. He doesn't move I'm not gonna shoot him. This place. He's gonna go <gasps> Okay, so we heard some chimes. Yeah. Pick that up. What do we got? Delivery Gordon note. Lightful. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Okay. Okay. What's this? Betting 
Setting slips. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a loose Oh, street. Lightfall has been covering his gambling debts? Yeah. Hey, Santa Anita's right by my house. There's just something else in this room. Let's go look around. <sighs> I just, just... Did I just drop my gun? No. Oh, the box right there. Yeah. Okay. Dude. There enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. From Marquee Printing. Oh my gosh. Okay. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen Racing cars for pinks. Right to your door, Bigelow. Dude, we got like here five achievements. Back. Yeah, we crushed it. Man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Oh my god, you're gonna get rocked in oh this question. Oh my god, let's go. About Marky Printer. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. So... <laughs> okay. He's literally like... Okay. <laughs> Come we're, on. We're the cops. Come on, I'm telling the truth here. Come on, what are you talking about? Come on, don't be crazy. I, I think he's full of doubt. Because yeah. if we if we're looking at it, yeah. yeah. Men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquee. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Okay. Oh. Tell us about your association there, buddy. Mike Ball, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. Uh. One well, of the guys lying over there. Full right. of shit. There's no luck. You are full of shit. <laughs> Should I lie, right? He's lying. We have the fucking yeah. note. I just talked to the dude. We are a fucking idiot. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Um, the the, the uh, delivery ledger, I think, will do it right. The thing that has his name on it, delivery note, delivery to Stephen Bigelow, signed off by Gordon Lightvall. So e okay, it's either it's either the ledger or the note. Which one you think? I don't know. Which one should I pick? Well, let's do the note because the note has his name on. The note we know. Did we just signed off by 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 Levitoff? Should I back out of this? Do we think it's. No, I think I think let's do do the note. The note. All right. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing. Yeah. Okay. Print just shop. the fact that he's the owner is the evidence. The I just track. talked to him. He has these big government contracts. Oh, thank God, that was and tough. <laughs> Feds find out. Okay. Contracts will be all over. Damn. Lightball plays ball. I cannot believe how right, good we're doing. <laughs> Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Hell yeah. That can be my hidden vehicles, whatever those may be. Dude, you're getting rocked, city. Look at that. Look at that. We are the best. Cleaning up oh, the streets. Oh, now we gotta go get Gordon. Now we gotta go arrest boss for, man. For the record, Gordon's been my least favorite character we've encountered so far. You hate At least man? in this case. What's going on He's over just, here? We, we murdered like six crazy. dudes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? Oh, that's why we're not done with it. Because we got to go arrest that mug. Spoiler. We're coming back for you, bish. <laughs> How's that a spoiler? Spoiler, bish. We're coming for spoiler, you. Spoiler, bish. Get out of the way. We are on police business. Oh, uh, going to take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced. I murdered everyone in there. Brains out one minute and pleads innocence. I just next. killed like yeah. eight dudes. Especially when he's surrounded by evidence. <laughs> so guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong. They start to that believe it. They actually it. start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. Yeah. And who knows how long they could have kept this racket going? Complacency or greed? It's always. Dude, one it was so easy to be a criminal in the forties. <laughs> I want to know if these cases are real. Like, there's got to be some real stuff to this, right? I'm sure that they're based off, like, notes and research from the actual LAPD. They yeah, that'd be, be. that'd be tight. Because, like, they went through so much trouble to make the city exactly how it I'm was. Gonna, I'm going to look this up. See if there's anything on the wiki page. Okay. 
Well, wait. Before we do that, let's let's handle this. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm don't want to spoil it. Okay. Let's take you to prison. <laughs> Should I? Nah, man. We don't need no guns. You don't think? Nah. I guess I always have my pistol on me. That's true. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. What do you? Th Why do you think I came back here, bro? Why do you think we I found a box of pink slips in a <laughs> warehouse full of hot cars? You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. Oh my god! You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Oh yeah? From who? Oh yeah? You're full of shit. You fucking liar. Liar? What's Hold your on, okay. <laughs> we have fucking evidence that he's betting. Gambling debts. The gambling debts. Okay, we're gonna come at him with the gambling debts, right? Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Okay. The gambling debts. The betting slips, or the gambling debts? I th it, either or. He's tied to both of them. Okay. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. We called you out! I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. Yeah! I'll name names. You are roasted. I need you to keep this out of the paper. You are roasted. I need you need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm trying to Oh my you god. Conspiracy Look at this. Dish. Look at this. Daps. Daps for days. Daps for days. Daps for hashtag four days. Super Beard Brothers cracked the, the case LAPD yet again. The Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. Damn After right we did. After exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. Damn right. The LAPD sustained no casualties. You're damn right I didn't. Damn Hell yeah. Look at this goddamn suit. Helps. Yeah. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. God damn it, I'm the best police officer there ever was. <laughs> so after, um... No one is safe. I, I, while we were just kind of getting that down... I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. That's not too bad. Is that... Is that a perfect hundo percento out of that? You're right, it is. You found all those clues and the correct questions? They didn't give us a crappy, uh... Like, you should have done this in the case notes also. Yeah. Like, last time it was like, you could have gone back to the house if you wanted. S oh. The printer's devil. That's a gold trophy. Dude. Hell yeah. So I, I while 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 we were wrapping up the scene, I did some research. Okay. Um, there's not too much involving this case in terms of like Real what's time. there. Um, there's a couple of notes we can talk about. So uh, the ending in this particular case all depends on Phelps. Okay. Um, oh, we got signed out of PSN. And how he handles the deliveries to the industrials to the industrial street question correctly. If he does it right, Leary will be very bright from the good press. And praise Phelps from his work, which we did. But if Phelps doesn't handle it right, Leary will angrily relate both of them. Mostly Phelps. Like, he'll just be like, what the hell? He's like, "What? how you represent the fucking LAPD this way, you bish? Whatever. Because we're perfect dicks. Hashtag. Uh, you can free roam with guns in this case, actually. What? Like, if I just, like, walked away from the building? Yeah. I could just, like, run around in LA with guns? Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, what a great, what a great case. Another one. Another one up. down. Another criminal pulled right off the street. What's, the, what's, the, what's our next bros. case called, Alex? Let's get a sneak preview of this sneak preview. next episode's case. Let's jump in. We're Let's, never going to finish this game. And I'm yes, totally we are, okay dude. Yes, I'm we are, I'm having so much yes, fun. Yes, we are, dude. We're having a great time. We're going to crush this game. Oh, we got a little, little backstory going on okay. right now. All right. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. Phelps. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like I feel this guy's like gonna just end up being Bucky. The Odyssey took <laughs> 10 years, Cole. <laughs> this is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. Good Lord. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. 
Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. We're not going to be fighting until 48. Tell you a little thing about giant atrocities, like dropping a nuclear bomb on an entire country. <laughs> Alex, spoilers for World War II? Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, you're right. I'm sorry if you haven't read that far in your history books yet, guys. The Fallen Idol! <laughs> if you guys are working on American History 101, I didn't mean to spoil it for you. A Fallen Idol! This one looks like a movie. Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Dude, I would totally watch a procedural set in the 40s. Actually, I think there was an LA Confidential show, wasn't there? No. Phelps, yes, there was, I think. We have a new case. Two women. Possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. <laughs> Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? The Chevy Styline took a nose. Styline, what a great name. Fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Huh. Hey. I gave his wife a tap. Damn, victims drugged Chevy Styline. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Fallen Idol, you think it's like a movie star or something? Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to fit in. You think that might be the perfect time to continue wearing this suit, or should I change my persona? It's up to you. I don't have the option. Alright, folks. Question of the day. What was it? We didn't have one. Question of the day. What's the biggest what's the biggest amount of money you've ever lost gambling? Uh Tree Fitty. $350? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. But to be fair, I was up about two. So you were like so you were still up two after you lost three fifty? Yeah. Was my one of my my second or third trip to Vegas. Dude, that is some crazy. My dad, my I, my brother taught me craps on a uh, how to play craps on a boat because uh -huh. there, there was a casino on the boat, and him and my brother in law taught me how to play. And then my my second trip back to Vegas, they like I just you? I just no, I went in there. You were just winning craps. True story. True story, Alex. Yeah, the completionist. I didn't have enough money to afford a camera. I could not afford a camera. <laughs> I went to my brother. And I asked for a hundred dollars, uh -huh. and he was very reluctant and gave it to me. And he was like, "I don't know what you need this for, but like." And you like, went to Vegas. And I went to Vegas, and I walked out with twenty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> the only good luck I've ever had. The only luck I've ever had. That I also is fucking crazy. I also, while in Vegas, sold my camera. I sold like my old camera. So I walked in Las out with, Vegas. Yeah, at a pawn shop. No, I, on Craigslist. Oh my god! I brought it with me. And I was like, you know, I'm in Vegas. I'm just gonna sell it and see what happens. It's an efficient trip. And I was up there, and within three hours of set of posting it, I got a guy who wanted to buy it for a church, and I sold it to him, and I got my price. Great. And then I bought all the equipment, all like the basic essential stuff. Some for of it we still use. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, now I didn't buy it for the completionist, but I bought it to like. Upgrade all of my film stuff. Right. Um, and boy, am I glad I did. I've lost about five dollars actually betting. Uh, but one time I went to like an acquaintance's birthday party. For? Yeah. That was a poker night, and I won all the chips at the party and in poker, and bought a like family heirloom plate with my tickets from the like prize corner. Oh wow. Yeah. That's the best I've ever done. That's the most gambling I've ever done. Yeah, I've gambled since then and lost a lot, but I like not know, not three hundred fifty dollars. Not like three fifty in, in one go. All right. Honestly, what happened was I didn't notice the chips were on the table. That's the problem with craps. It's crap you throw so many chips out. Yeah. I left a large amount out and forgot about it for like twenty minutes. You just and then when through, I yeah. finally when I finally crapped out, I lost it. Jesus. All right. Well, next time we're going to go across the street and look at that car up there. You see it up there? Yeah. Look at that Cola King. Uh, I call a king uh, ad. It's tight. Yeah. You see the car right up there? Yeah. All blue and stuff? Yeah. Shout out to the soundtrack. Uh, I'm going to probably download this soundtrack and listen to it right now when I drive when you're home. you're driving home? Yeah. It's tight. Tight. No lie, I bought The Man Who Wasn't There on Blu-ray because I'm just hungry for the 40s. Uh, uh, all right. I'll see you guys later. Later, man. Bye.